as you drive up to these, they blend so much into the, the rock face, you just, you don't see them in, until you're like almost right on top of them. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's huge. Amazing. These are two of the, the biggest of the, the great houses. So, these rocks back here are really threatening this structure. Do you see these huge boulders? Do you see this crack right there? That is, there's actually a lot of structural cracks that I see in there. As a geophysicist, I kind of am in fear that these are going to come down. I mean, God, this one right here is huge. Hmm. Pueblo Bonito. And then um, the other one is, is over here that we're going to have to hike to. Oh, there it is. It's right there. And then there are some petroglyphs. There's a trail that you can go on up here where you can go see some petroglyphs. Pueblo Bonito is the most thoroughly investigated, visited, and celebrated cultural site in Chaco Canyon. The structure was constructed in phases from 850 to 1150 AD. To the ancestral Pueblo people, this was the center of the Chacuan world. That world grew to cover much of the present day Southwest that spans from New Mexico into Arizona, Utah, and Colorado and their reign was a span of over 300 years. In stories passed down in the Pueblo and Navajo cultures, Chaco Canyon is known as the home of the Great Gambler. He is known to have come to the south and enslaved the Pueblo people, forcing them to create the Great Houses of Chaco. He was said to have been outwitted and eventually driven away. Yeah, that rock face is coming down. I can just see the structural See, like in the front, there's like three major parts that are going to come down. Well, with the amount of rain they get out of here, get out here, and the freezing and thawing, that's gonna that's gonna make it come down. It's gonna heave off, basically. So in geology, when water gets behind rocks or down into the cracks of rocks, and then it freezes, um, and it's called heaving. It, it's what breaks apart the rock over time. So we're here in November, and it's chilly, of course. And uh, <laughs> when else would we go? <laughs> Uh, actually, it's hotter than Hades out here in the summertime. So, you know, early fall is probably absolutely perfect to come out here. You don't have as much snake activity. And uh, you uh, it's probably not as hot in the spring. You're probably going to have a lot of flooding going on. Look at that. That's amazing. straight the walls are. I mean, this must have taken the longest time to build because, like I said, it's like a, a, a mosaic. I take it all in. It's, this is a sacred site. I keep having to do a voice check because I'm so excited that I keep raising my voice. That's amazing. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here on one of these boulders that came down. 
I mean, it's like they built on top of the boulder, so those boulders must have come down a long time ago. Well, let's go in and take a look. You know, I know there's no official link, but I would swear that these guys were the Native American chapter of the Masons. <laughs> They definitely were talented. I just, I mean, I just can't get over, like, there's small little pieces, just, and then there's mortar. It just kind of amazes me. So they have these bigger bricks. It's basically stone. And then these little ones in between. It's just, it's just kind of a, it's, it's a, mo no, that's sandstone. That's not shale. Sandstone. Yeah. It's just amazing, and then these, they're so straight. It's amazing are the windows that they could hold up all the, the, you know, how it was engineered to hold up all that weight above it. Wow. Basically, we're doing headers. <laughs> yeah, they had headers on them. Pretty amazing. Okay, so this is a veneer. Yeah. And then what's in And then there's a core wall inside that of, of larger rocks. Okay. So basically, uh, this is for aesthetic reasons, I would take it. Okay, so I can see them in there. Just like fake rock fireplace at your house. Uh huh. Well, these aren't really fake rocks. Well, the veneer's not as thin as you think it is. No, I mean, this rock like goes all the way in. Area. Yeah, it goes in there. Foot, maybe? Yeah. Like two and a half foot wall, three foot wall. <laughs> I can't get this good of stonework in Denver. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. You go, you start this way to follow the book, and then the book that I purchased for two fifty. It's got these like numbers right here, and then it takes you up and around. Look how big these boulders are! See the person standing up there? Yeah, these are huge. So this boulder looks like it took out some structure rock, back rock here. Claimed it. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing there was nobody sleeping in there. <sighs> well, it either took out some of the old structure, or this was structure, the wall. or the, it, this was made by modern man for the path. For the path. Yeah, these are huge. <laughs> these boulders. <laughs> Look at the size of this boulder. It's huge. Well, you get the clouds coming over. Oh, yeah. We'll do a time lapse right there. Yeah. So we're on the back side of Pueblo Bonito. And this is uh, the first part of the, the path. So they have this like little stoop you can go up on. Oh wow. Oh yeah. You can really see the structure from up here. Look at all the kivas. Look at all these. Look at this view. And the kivas. So the round circles below are kivas. Those are the ceremonial um, churches, for lack of a better word. Yes, they were used for ceremony. So, it took about 300 years to build this place. A lot of rocks. Succeeding generations continued to 
design and construction of the building. The building ceased late the pottery shrouds date. Let's descend down into the plaza. So over there is a great kiva. It's like probably the biggest one here. And you see all these little kivas. Um, the rocks just, it's just taking the back of this. I mean, these boulders are like right up against here. Goodness. This is the plaza. Actually, wasn't there like two plazas? Look at this. Hey, lady. Am I in your picture? Wow. I always like to have people in my pictures and film to kind of show how big something is. What I wasn't expecting was that grave. We're actually not going to walk out there. It's about um, a quarter of a mile out. It's the Great Plaza. I'm standing in front of one of the kivas. There's a kiva here, a kiva there, a kiva here. So these honey cones are basically more for structural purposes. Are we able to go through here? Or do we I think you can. Okay. This is the other plaza. So, go this way, see the other side of the kiva. Is it just me, or do these remind you of Stargate? You know, sarcophagus they used to get in to rejuvenate themselves? Doesn't it look like them? Is it just me? Okay. So this is a good example of the veneer. So just, here's your veneer right here with the smaller rocks. And then um, you have your larger stones in the middle here. So you can really see how they built that. I mean, how ingenious is that? Yeah, I excavated this. The, the stones were put in the 20s. And that's just yeah, yeah, but yeah, but it's a weird looking door. But I, I swear that they said that they were, they, that they found that they had blocked off windows and doors in certain places. I think what they did is they built the room, and then they would block it off for some reason. Maybe this was storage, and they would block it off to keep it cool in there. Think about it. Three hundred years, you tend to renovate the place occasionally. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, look at there, just like right there, that window right there. You know? <laughs> Honey, can you put a door there for me? I can just hear it now. So that was, how many stories was that over there? Three stories. Three stories. They were doing three story construction over a thousand years ago of rocks and sticks.
So yeah, these these guys were like the first victims of global warming in America at their Today. time. Weather change, you know. Been changing since the dinosaurs, baby. But in their time, the weather changed, and um, they had to move from this area because of it. They couldn't survive drought. Oh wow, you can really see all the honeycombs right here. Pretty amazing. Pueblo Bonito. And I gotta stop calling it Casa Bonita. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> All, there's also ones that are up on these bridges that you but you can only hike to them um, I mean they're all over this valley so coming out here for the day was so worth it it was worth the washboard road um, definitely stay up in Aztec or Broomfield or Farmington the campground is primitive here and there's not many camp sites um, but if you're going to come out here and do some night photography, which I'm dying to do, um, you can, you know, go to, I would advise you staying on the campsite. Um, but God, it must be just the Milky Way at night must just be fantastic. The sky is so blue and so clean here. Um, but definitely make a trek out here. It is so worth it.